everybody. Cooper TV X, Common Sense. Why do we get the spotlight put on all our black celebrities? And it gets blown out to humongous. It get blown out humongous. But they never shine that big of a light on um, people like Trump, Kevin Spacey, uh, who else? James Franco, um, who else? Charlie Sheen, uh, who else? Uh, John Grissom, uh, who else? Dustin Hoffman, <sighs> Brett Batner, and etc. People probably I don't even heard of. Why are they ignoring what Corey Feldman is saying? Now, if he would have been saying that to somebody like goddamn James Earl Jones or goddamn Eddie Murphy, it'd be a call out. It'd be now to be a call. They'd be in the streets. They'd be in the goddamn streets with their goddamn signs talking about how they assholes and dicks been touched. So what the fuck? Nobody ever mentions it. And if they do mention it, it's rare. Like, what the fuck? There's so many that fuck. It, was, it wasn't just Weinstein. It wasn't just Weinstein or, 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 or um, what's the dude's name that fucking that um, cross country island uh, motherfucker, Jeffrey Epstein. It wasn't just anything. Him, him, you think him and his bitch were flying on a plane by themselves, going to the, going to Kitty Land, they own little fucking Diddy Land over there, huh? Do you think? Do you think it was just them? You've seen the goddamn logs, right? You seen the names in them logs, right? Powerful people. How come that is just brushed off and nobody said it about it no more? A Brahma bitch or whatever the fuck that crazy bitch name that was, that was this close to Jay Z face. This goddamn close they was. He's sucking that goddamn evil power from him. I don't understand why Beyonce didn't flip. That was damn sure damn near cheating. Unless she knows all about it herself. You see how close he was to that evil demonic bitch? Making blood recipes and uh, um, sculptures of humans and shit to eat. I don't want to I'm not eating that shit. Why the fuck do I want to eat somebody's goddamn ankle, shoulder, neck? Titties, dick, ass, whatever. And they sitting there eating like it's a goddamn. Yeah, Lady Gaga got the ass neck. Clutching the goddamn big ass piece of ice. People just overlook it. Oh, that's just their craft. That's just how they, you know, that's how they get their spirits so they can get the, uh, get the music out there that y'all need. No, we don't need it. We definitely don't need it. We're letting you know right now, we don't need it. We don't need it. So y'all don't have to go through all that crazy ass shit because we don't need it. Just crazy to me, man. How can the spotlight be so big on us? And, and, and trust me, man, with that airy spirit shit and all that shit, that shit was fucked. Purely fucked. Whether they have not been convicted or arrested or charged with a lawsuit. Or well, they charged it, but I haven't went through. How many people in the goddamn 20s and 30s and 40s into the 50s 
abused and had them kids doing shit that they know damn well they shouldn't be doing. Anybody, anybody remember that shit? Huh? The Bill Cobb, you couldn't, you couldn't even turn out one channel out seeing that nigga with the goddamn suspenders on. Looking at your goddamn clip go down like that. Make you question your whole goddamn childhood. What is this nigga been teaching us? But no, this is what they do. And it's done this way for a goddamn reason. Same reason how they bring all this coke and dope up in here and we get charged for it. Anybody ever look at it? What, 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 how did they get here then? And, and how do we know the prices and shit? How, how did it get to this point? I ain't never went across CD to cop no goddamn, yeah, yeah, uh-uh. So what the fuck? They used it to fund the war. And they had no more use for it. They dumped it in our fucking communities. All them seizures, when they go into people places, take all these goddamn monies and all these goddamn uh, cars, expensive jewelry and shit. You think that's going to somewhere safe? Huh? Y'all some goddamn fools. If you think some shit like that, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it. Just think about it, though. Think about it. Think about it. You got... And what's the craziest thing, and, it, and, this, and this is a little bit off topic, but it's still in, t in this type of range. But listen. Okay. When, when the OJ trial was going, right? And this is the end. The verdict is coming. And these people show split screens. Split screens. And all of a sudden, magically, I don't know how they got this fucking shit, because it wasn't even, now that I think about it, it wasn't no goddamn uh, uh, Bluetooth or nothing. Uh, anyway, they had these split screens. One of the screens was black people. One of the screens was white people. All sitting there just shaking. But shaking for two different reasons. Black is shaking that he make it. White is shaking that he don't. And they sitting there praying. Ram. They said not guilty. Did you see the faces? Did you see the change in the faces? I thought niggas gonna start cooking greens and chitlins and got their barbecue. Had nothing to do about her and getting killed and the other dude getting killed and him. It had nothing to do with that. Go back and look at the people's faces and look how that shit, how the emotions change on each side. Black people was clapping and jumping up and down like they got fucking like they got they got their uh, reparations. And white people just got there disgusted. They just couldn't believe this nigga here killed two of their beloveds and walking away scot free. And if he should if he not guilty in the arms of the court, why do he have to be guilty and accused for for um, letting that shit happen and, and having to pay millions? I thought if he wasn't guilty, he wasn't guilty of nothing. Not no goddamn. No. Now you gotta pay because they done got sliced out. No, man. No. And then they, but then they bam him and uh, uh they bam him and uh, Booker for stealing his own fucking memorabilia. See how they fucking play? Fucking already got a, a, a camera surveillance system put up in there already. Somebody come out here and say, hey, man, I found your memorabilia, man. Come on, come on. Point is, it's never equal, it's never fair. We always had to do 10, 10 steps more. Uh, common sense. Out there, man. Kevin Spade. He's still running around out there. 